Hey, how's it going? It is Till here and in this video I'm going to talk about why you have to let go of things that you cannot control and only focus on things that are within your direct control. Now, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. And today I'm coming to you with a mobile setup. So I have my tripod here uh, on my office chair so I can actually move around and show you a little bit, you know, what, what this office looks like here. Anyways, so basically most people try to frantically control the things that are outside of their control. For example, Stephen Covey has this really nice uh, concept where he talks about this and he calls this your circle of concern and your circle of influence. So everything that you cannot directly control, everything that you essentially worry about, everything that you hope would be in place is in your circle of concern, right? That's the stuff that you are concerned about, things that you wish were in place, things that you hope for. Now, the problem is that most people, most amateurs, most unsuccessful people try to control what's in their circle of concern, right? And you can't control that. You just have to let go of things that you can't directly control and you have to focus on what Stephen Covey calls your circle of influence. Now, your circle of influence consists of everything that you have direct control over, such as your mindset, your actions, things like that. So what you need to be doing, number one, is you need to take control of your mindset. Your mindset dictates everything else. So if you aren't controlling your mindset, well, you're not going to be able to succeed in life or in business. Mindset determines how you show up, how you do your marketing, your sales, how you respond to adversity and setbacks, things that don't go your way. So if you're not controlling your mindset, well, circumstances, uh, bad things that will happen will start controlling you. So the first thing you have to do is really work on your mindset. Do this every single day. I recommend you set aside 15 to 30 minutes every day in the morning or in the evening. It doesn't really matter, but you need to be working consistently on your mindset. I sit every day except for Sunday, 30 minutes aside in the morning and I work on my mindset. I check out my vision boards. I read some affirmations. I read a list of character traits that I want to incorporate and this is going to build momentum with time. The more you do this, the more your identity starts changing and that's how you control, you know, your perception and how you lead your life and how you lead other people and your business. The next thing you need to control is your actions, the most important actions in your business. So although you can't directly control what's happening around you, you can't control how much money is on your bank account right now. You can't just uh, hope that you're going to have a million dollars on your bank account and then it's just going to show up. You know, the law of attraction in that sense is uh, crap. You know, there's a certain truth to it. Yes, if you actually put your intentions out there and you're aligned, your mindset, everything you do, your actions are aligned with the things that you're hoping for, that you're trying to attract into your life, Yes, you can attract great things into your life. But just thinking of having a million dollars on your bank account isn't going to attract anything. So you need to actually let go of these things. You need to stop focusing on just the money, on just the result. And you need to start focusing on uh, getting your mindset in a place where it can actually deal with a million dollars on your bank account, right? So mindset work, again, super important. And number two, you need to identify the key tasks in your business and in your life that are going to get you closer to that thing that's in your circle of concern. And then eventually, you can attract and get the things 
that are in your circle of control, but uh, only by first letting go of all these things, appreciating and understanding that you don't have control over the things you wish for, the things you hope for, the things that you want to have, the things that you desire, and then refocusing 100% of your attention, your energy, your time, your efforts on your circle of influence so that eventually the things in your circle of concern are just manifested or attracted as a natural side effect of what you're controlling in your day-to-day -day life, in your personal life and also in your business. Now, why is this important? Why am I even talking about this stuff? You know, usually I don't talk about uh, woo-woo stuff and attraction and uh, what you can control and what you can't. The reason why this is important is because as you progress as a coach, consultant, speaker, expert, or a service provider, or any type of entrepreneur, as you progress, you will constantly slip back into trying to control things in your circle of concern. And for example, you know, I was talking to one of my uh, students, he's doing really well. He runs a multiple six-figure e-commerce business and he is now scaling his expert business to six figures as well. And he had this, this fear that his students wouldn't be getting uh, enough results. So the results of his students, of his clients, are essentially in his circle of concern, right? Because as coaches and as experts, we can't take responsibility for our client success or results. If you're doing that, you're going to go crazy. The reason why is because the success, the results that your clients, your students, your customers get is for the most part completely dependent on them, how they implement your advice, their personality, their work ethic, their mindset. All these things are outside of your control. So if you're trying to control your students' results, yes, you should try and do what's in your control to uh, facilitate helping your students to get them, to give them everything that you have in your power, all the tools, all the mentorship, all the guidance, to get them as close as possible and to, to accelerate their own growth. But you have to let go of any responsibility that you feel like you have for your clients and students. So that's one example of shifting back from your circle of concern to your circle of influence, right? As a coach, consultant, expert, you can control, for example, creating the best coaching program ever. You can be obsessed with that. You can focus on that and you have control over that. You can control always being on time. You can control giving the best advice ever. You can control your mindset. You can control how strongly you believe in your clients and their ability to succeed. So it's your job as a coach or a consultant to focus on that. It's not your job to worry about your clients or to worry for your clients or to wish for or hope for their results or the outcomes that they desire. Because the moment you do that, you're giving up your control and you're not showing up the strongest version that you could be for your clients and customers. So the more you scale your business, especially your expert business, the more you will progress and uh, proceed through layers of shifting back from being or from focusing on your circle of concern to focusing on your circle of influence. This is a never-ending journey, a never-ending process where you have to recenter your mindset, your focus, your attention onto what you can control. And this is the only way to scale. If you don't do this, if you get hung up, if you focus on the wrong things, if you try to control what you cannot control, it's going to hinder your ability to truly scale your business, your company, and take you to the next level. That's why this is so important because everything's interconnected. Your mindset, your focus, 
will massively impact your ability to scale your business. So I hope this makes sense. I know I went on a little bit of a tangent and uh, rambled a little bit about things I usually don't talk about, but I hope this makes sense and I hope you got some good value from this video here today. And if you'd like to learn more about how we help clients scale to six and seven figures, then head over to scalewithtill.com. I'll also include a link in this video and also in the description, you can click there and you can also apply for a free 15 minute scaling session where we take a close look at your business, what you're currently doing, and we determine together if there's an opportunity to scale your business to the next level, including working on your mindset, taking everything to the next level, not just your marketing and sales, but what you focus on and what you attract in your life. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.